In today's video, we're going to take a look at the nine key differences between a wolf spider and grass spider. The wolf spiders frequently get confused with nursery web spiders. While the two spiders appear similar, this article does not concern nursery web spiders. However, so you can tell them apart from wolf spiders, we'll provide a brief introduction to nursery web spiders. Eurasian grass spiders. First described by Charles Athanas Walseniar in 1805, Eurasian grass spiders range throughout Europe, Asia, and Africa. Currently, the World Spider Catalog identifies 46 species of Eurasian grass spiders. Like American grass spiders, Eurasian grass spiders build funnel webs to trap their prey. However, while American grass spiders possess two almost parallel lines from their eyes to their abdomens, the lines on the Eurasia grass spiders curve sporadically. Nursery Web Spiders Nursery web spiders belong to the family Persaridae. Unlike wolf spiders, they carry their egg sacs with their mouth parts and sensory organ appendages between the mouth and legs. In addition, nursery spiders' eyes all look roughly the same size, while wolf spiders' eyes differ in size. Grass spiders belong to two genera, Angelina opsis, or the American grass spider, and Angelina, or the Eurasian grass spider. Differences between the species vary ever so slightly. In fact, they appear so similar that Angelinopsis in Greek translates to to have a similar look to Eurasian grass spiders. For the purpose of this article, we'll exclude discussing Eurasia grass spiders. Instead, we'll focus on the American grass spiders, which we'll refer to simply as grass spiders. That said, we'll include a short description of the American grass spiders, old world relatives. Key differences number nine, taxonomy. While both the wolf spiders and grass spiders belong to the Arachnia class of insects, they come from different families. Wolf spiders belong to the family Lycosiidae, which is the fourth largest spider family in the world. Their name comes from the ancient Greek word meaning wolf. In total, there exists over 2,300 different species belonging to a hundred genera. Meanwhile, grass spiders belong to the family Angelindae. Currently, scientists recognize over 14 species of American grass spiders. Difference number eight, size. Both wolf and grass spiders can vary greatly in size. The smallest wolf spiders can measure as little as three millimeters in body size. However, in general, the size of the wolf spider's body ranges from 10 millimeters to 35 millimeters wide. With their lengths, they typically measure 1.5 to 2 inches in length. At their largest, it's easy to distinguish them from the biggest grass spiders. On average, grass spiders measure between 10 millimeters to 20 millimeters in size. Difference number seven, color. Wolf spiders and grass spiders both rely on camouflage to avoid predators and sneak up on their prey. Given that they tend to reside in similar habitats, this means that they often exhibit the same coloring. Both wolf and grass spiders range in color from brown to yellow to gray. However, a discerning eye could spot several faint markings unique to each species. For example, wolf spiders frequently possess a thick black line down their abdomen. On the other hand, grass spiders have a much lighter line on their abdomen. In addition, the markings on the grass spiders overall look lighter than those of wolf spiders. Key difference number six, spinnerets. A spinneret is an organ unique to spiders and a few other insects. It allows spiders to spin silk, which they use to create webs. Depending on the spider, spinnerets can range in size from small to large. In regards to wolf spiders, their spinnerets measure smaller than those of most other spiders. This may contribute to the fact that they do not spin webs. On the other hand, grass spiders' spinnerets generally appear large compared to other spiders. Key difference number five, habitat. Wolf spiders and grass spiders occur commonly throughout natural and man-made habitats. They tend to prefer grasslands and forests, but often find their way inside people's homes in search of food. However, while their ranges overlap, wolf spiders create different homes and are more widely distributed. You can find wolf spiders on every continent except Antarctica. Rather than creating webs, they live in burrows in the ground. They also may frequently move around and may live in several homes over the course of their lives. Meanwhile, American grass spiders live only in North America, while Eurasian grass spiders range throughout Africa, Europe, and Asia. In addition, they build their nests in funnel webs which they typically build low to the ground in grass or bushes. Key difference number four, web. It's a commonly held belief that all spiders weave webs. While this is mostly accurate, it does not hold true to every circumstance. For example, wolf spiders do not weave webs. Instead, they live in burrows in the ground and hunt by ambushing and chasing down their prey. 
They kill by leaping onto their prey and sinking their fangs into their victims, immobilizing them. Grass spiders, on the other hand, act more like typical spiders, building webs for their nests and to hunt. However, unlike most spider webs, grass spider webs are not sticky. Instead, the prey wanders inside the webs, grass spiders will corner and leap on their victim. Key difference number three, infant care. Over the years, adult spiders earned a terrible reputation for their poor caretaking. Male spiders almost never stick around to help rear their children, and most female spiders lack a mothering instinct. However, wolf spiders differ from many of their kin. Females carry their eggs around on their spinnerets until they hatch and will carry their spiderlings on their backs for several weeks until they can take care of themselves. While wolf spiders buck the trend, grass spiders reinforce it. Female grass spiders deposit their eggs into a silk sack and then overwinters. Generally, the females will die before the eggs hatch and many die still attached to their egg sac. Key difference number two, eyes. It's a well-known fact that spiders possess eight eyes. However, the distribution, size, and the ability of the eyes greatly vary between species. On average, spiders do not see well, but wolf spiders have excellent eyesight. Their eyesight helps them to spot and track prey in the dark and avoid predators. A wolf spider's eyes are arranged in three rows, with two rows on top, two in the middle, and four on the bottom. In addition, its middle eyes measure much larger than the other eyes. Like a wolf spider, a grass spider's eyes lie in three rows. However, its first row contains two eyes, the second four eyes, and the bottom row two eyes. Also, unlike wolf spiders, grass spiders' eyesight is poor. Difference number one, mating ritual. Many spider species take part in elaborate and unique mating rituals. These displays often end gruesomely, usually with the female eating the male. In the case of the wolf spiders, rituals vary depending on the species. However, a common ritual involves the male drumming their legs to the ground and showing off enlarged bristles on their legs. Meanwhile, grass spiders prefer to sway their abdomens from side to side during the courtship ritual. These movements cause them to release pheromones in hopes of attracting a mate. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe. If you have questions or comments, please leave it at the comment section below. See you on the next one.